The formal Con Lab coalition killed you over a decade ago. Now you're on the way back. With that in mind, you surely emphatically would rule out any deal informal or formal with the Conservatives. Well, um, I have ruled out uh, dealing with the Conservatives for a very good reason. First of all, I personally have fought the Conservatives all my life. I took my seat from the Conservatives, so, uh, I fought them at every election. Uh, and so I and many Liberal Democrat MPs have always been uh, against the Conservatives. And yeah. even in the coalition you mentioned, uh, we fought them every day. Okay, Ed Davey, clearly, you are clearly ruling out any sort of deal with the Conservatives at a general election. Do you also rule out any deal, formal or informal, with the Labour Party, should it become the biggest party? Well, beyond ruling out uh, a coalition with the Conservatives and any dealing with the Conservatives, yeah. I'm not going to speculate about what uh, else could happen. So because, you're not ruling because, it out? No, because what I'm... No, it's no, clear you're not ruling no, that out. What is clear, and I'll be clear okay. about what I'm clear about, Beth, uh, is I'm clear about our need to beat mm -hmm. lots of Conservative MPs to get more Liberal Democrat MPs uh, elected. And uh, I'm not going to speculate what else may happen after polling day, because so, I really think, I think my job, and I've seen this uh, in the Westminster Village quite a lot, People get focused on that. If you All right, get, let me put if it another you, way. If you You're get, not sorry. going to rule out some sort of deal with Labour, whether informal or formal. You're not going to emphatically rule that out right now, like you've just done with the Tories. I, I am ruling out dealing with hypotheticals. I'm well, completely ruling... You, you, uh, you, well, the Tories is a hypothetical, and you've ruled no, no, that out. No, 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 but Beth, I'm sorry. Um, I made really clear, and I'll keep making clear, that what I, my job to, to do is to get more Liberal Democrat MPs elected. And if we do that, we can yeah. get this awful yeah. government out. What happens after polling day, I'm just not going to go there. Okay, Many of my predecessors went here. there and you it distracted from saying, their main focus. You are ruling out the Conservatives. You're not ruling out a deal with Labour. And I think the viewers will see that, that you are keeping your options open at election. I think it's a bit disingenuous that you won't no, be straight no, about no, that. No, no, I think it's very clear. Um, people who've done yeah, my really job... Clear. You're not doing a deal with the Tories and you might with Labour. Well, really the Conservatives are in government. They've betrayed our country, I think, on so many levels. I think people are sick and tired of them and they want them out of government. And Liberal Democrats can play a critical role. Indeed, large parts of the country, in the Blue Wall and in the, in the West Country, okay, uh, only a vote for the Liberal Let's Democrats can policy. defeat the Conservatives. Well, I haven't heard you on camera say that you want the UK back in the single market in the EU. I've, I've heard lots of people ask you and I haven't heard you actually yeah. say yeah. it. Well, because, so I'd like to hear it from well, your mouth. Uh, as the leader of the party, I'm going to tell you what the Liberal Democrats' position is. And let me say, on the back of those documents you referred to, we are clearly pro-European and proudly pro-European. We want Britain back at the heart of Europe. You but, want but, us back but, in the single but, market but, and back in the European Beth, Union. Beth, Will you just utter the words for me? Beth, it's in your policy document. Uh, I, I mean, I'm going to try to finish my sentence for once. Uh, what, what we're clear is in the next parliament, over the next few years, we've got to deal with what's on the table here and now. And what's on the table is a relationship with our European neighbours, which have been fractured. They do not trust us anymore because the Conservatives have damaged that trust. Boris Johnson kept lying to our, cons uh, our European neighbours. Yes. And so, uh, my question so, so isn't our about policy, Boris Johnson. I'll, I'll, my question is about you, but you saying that you want but us you back in the single market Beth, to be and fair, the European Union. You know, just say yeah, it. Beth, to be fair, you talked about policy papers, and I'm, I'm referring directly to our policy papers. Our policy paper, actually published over a year ago, that's how transparent we are, uh, has a four-step process. I know. Carefully and considered. It will take some time. People will need to be patient. We need to rebuild that relationship. We need to rebuild the case for greater European cooperation, which Conservatives have also trashed. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to talk about that it's in our national interest. I'm going to leave it with this. That's, I think, quite a cowardly answer. People were marching on the streets, wanting to rejoin the European Union this week, and you, as the leader of the Liberal Democrats, will not on camera say emphatically, yes, I want to join no, the, no, the Beth, single I think, market I think, in the I European Union. I think that Union. is totally wrong. What it is is a practical, realistic answer that deals with the situation we have at hand, not the situation that there was at the last election. You know, people have to realise that things move on, and I think that's the real thing, and I hope you and your viewers will, will understand that as we make our case. OK, Ed Davey, thank you so much.